Ellis B. Feaster's Radio Air Check and Classic TV Channel. Attention. If you love Magic 104.9, this station is moving on Monday. If you want to keep hearing Magic, set your HD radio to 104.9-2 or stream us on your iHeartRadio app. Or check out our sister station, 100.3 The Beat, STL's Hip Hop and R&B. A new station, 104.9 The Patriot will be here. Magic 104.9 welcome Creative Struggle and Citywide Investment Enterprises presents Love and Laughter featuring Donnell Jones. Give me a call, yeah, yeah. Give me a call, yeah. The Sweat Hotel is open. Make your reservation now by calling 866-92-SWEAT. That's 866-927-9328. Hey, this is Keith. Who am I speaking to? Cynthia. Hey, Keith. Hey, Cynthia. How you doing, baby? What's going on in Detroit? <laughs> Nothing really. Nothing that I know about. Okay, okay. Because I'm not calling from Detroit. Oh, where you at now? Oh, well, I did. I got two Cynthias that call <laughs> yeah. me. So, where you calling from tonight? <laughs> where I'm calling from tonight? New York. <laughs> okay, Cynthia. Okay, well, now I got three Cynthias. You know? <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> Okay. All right, Keith. I'll talk to you later. All right. Bye bye, girl. Bye bye. You're listening to The Sweat Hotel. Candles by Keith. Scents for the female or male. Just light it up. And experience fragrances inspired by my biggest hits. I give all my love to you. Make it last forever. Nobody. How deep is your love? And more. Now, whether in a sexy space or an intimate place, Candles by Keith always helps set the mood. For more information on how you can select your scent, just log on to CandlesbyKeith.com. Who's got candles like me? <laughs> Wake up tomorrow morning at 5 a.m. with the Steve Harvey Morning Show. This is me, Steve Harvey. Only on Magic 104.9. Hey, everybody. This is Brian McKnight, and you're checked in to the Sweat Hotel. I miss you. His body... All over your body. Oh, yeah, baby. It's the Sweat Hotel. Candles by Keith. Scents for the female or male. Just light it up and experience fragrances inspired by my biggest hits. I give all my love to you. Make it last forever. Nobody. How deep is your love? And more. Now, whether in a sexy space or an intimate place, Candles by Keith always helps set the mood. For more information on how you can select your scent, just log on to CandlesByKeith.com. Who's got candles like me? <laughs> The Sweat Hotel on Magic 104.9 is powered by Hennessy. Never stop, never settle. Hey guys, this is Ella May and you're listening to The Sweat Hotel. You're listening to the Sweat Hotel with Keith Sweat on Magic 104.9. Why is Culver's such a treat for so many families? Here's a hint. This treat is thick and creamy and everyone can get it any way they like. Our fresh frozen custard. We craft it in small batches throughout the day to make our guests stay using fresh dairy from America's family farms. Shakes, cones, sundaes, concrete mixers, flavor of the day, oh, and the toppings. 
Who says you can't please everyone? There's more than one way to dessert at Culver's. Welcome to Delicious. Stream what you love with the new Roku Express 4K+. Plus. Brilliant 4K picture quality, smooth Wi-Fi, and a voice remote with TV controls so you can enjoy your favorite channels like iHeartRadio. Play iHeart and listen to podcasts like Stuff You Should Know, the Ron Burgundy Podcast, The Breakfast Club, and more. Roku Express 4K Plus. It's all the streaming essentials you need at the affordable price you want. It's streaming made easy. Get yours now at Roku.com. Happy streaming. Fairchild reports. The fall of Afghanistan's capital, Kabul, appears imminent after Afghan President Ashraf Ghani fled the country. Taliban fighters entered the capital city amid U.S. evacuations of embassy personnel. The embassy is urging all Americans remaining in Afghanistan to shelter in place. I'm Cameron Fairchild. All personnel working at the U.S. Embassy in Afghanistan are safe at the Kabul airport or already on their way home. The State Department said it evacuated all embassy personnel to the airport, which is being protected by U.S. troops. It comes on the day the Taliban declared victory in its two-decade struggle against America and its allies. A search and rescue team from Fairfax County is headed to Haiti following Saturday's earthquake. Captain Christy Bartlett of Virginia Task Force One says her team will join disaster response crews in Haiti to find survivors buried in the rubble. That person may be, you know, barely responsive, they may be unresponsive. If the person is alive, the dog's going to get there and bark and let people know, hey, there's somebody here because they may not be strong enough to scream out for help. According to reports, the team of 65 rescue professionals will take 26 tons of rescue and medical equipment to the country along with four search dogs. One of the country's largest concert and ticketing companies is updating its coronavirus safety measures. Live Nation announced fans at all of its events must be either vaccinated against COVID or show a negative test. The policy will go into effect on October 4th. President and CEO Michael Rapino said this is the same safety model used at Lollapalooza last month. He noted 12% of the 400,000 attendees said Lollapalooza was the reason they got vaccinated. I'm Trey Thomas. A top infectious disease expert says the recent COVID-19 Delta variant surge is likely to last another month or even longer. Even if this uh, increase that we're seeing in the southern Sunbelt states, which has been dramatic, if these other states take off, then I think the surge can sustain itself for uh, at least another four to six weeks. Speaking on NBC's Meet the Press, the University of Minnesota's Dr. Michael Osterholm said the Delta variant spreads much easier than the previous variants, and that's why the numbers have taken a big jump in the last few weeks. Two large pharmacy chains are now offering a third dose of the COVID-19 vaccination for some in the U.S. Scott Carr has more. Walgreens and CVS stores have both announced they've started offering the third dose of both the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines against COVID and its variants. The FDA's emergency use authorization came out last week, followed by the CDC's notification they'd also authorized the shots. At this point, the third dose is meant only for immunodeficient individuals, such as organ transplant plant recipients or those receiving treatment for cancer or HIV. SpaceX founder Elon Musk says his company is close on its first orbital stack of his Starship rocket. It should be ready in weeks and is intended to eventually carry astronauts and cargo to the moon and Mars. Reuters reports an orbital Starship flight is planned for year's end, and Musk says he plans to fly a Japanese billionaire around the moon in the Starship in 2023. Muhammad Ali's grandson is proving boxing skills continue to run in the family. Nico Ali Walsh made his professional boxing debut Saturday while wearing a pair of the legendary boxer's trunks. The 21-year-old won the middleweight fight against Jordan Weeks in Oklahoma. Walsh took to Instagram following the match to say he is blessed and honored to continue history. I'm Trey Thomas. The all-new 104.9 The Patriots. Real Talk, KMJM-FM, Columbia, and iHeart Radio Station. Now, it's Red Eye Radio. Gary McNamara and Eric Harley talk about everything from politics to social issues and news of the day. Whether you're up late or just starting your day, welcome to the show. 
From the Pilot Flying J Studios, this is Red Eye Radio. Hello and welcome. He is Gary McNamara. I'm Eric Carley. As we move into a Monday back from the weekend, Gary, how are you? Uh, not good. And I don't think a lot of people that were watching what was going on over the weekend are, are doing good at all. Something that we predicted was going to happen, many people predicted that was going to happen. We'll play some audio cuts here. First off, this is the Taliban in the presidential palace uh, in Afghanistan, in uh, Kabul. And just so you know what that is, that's, they're reciting the Koran at the uh, Afghan presidential palace, where the president would actually be, uh, who we all know uh, left the presidential palace uh, over the weekend. This is some of the protests going on outside the uh, White House where people are chanting, Biden, you betrayed us. Congress, you betrayed us. So there you go. That's outside the White House. And and then just to, to give you a little bit of the coverage on it, whether you went to CNN, MSNBC, uh, what this administration and this president has done is just so unbelievable, uh, unbelievably um, reprehensible that everybody knows it. I don't care whether it's MSNBC, yeah. whether it's whether it's a, a, a CNN. Uh, just so you know, just so you know our history, anybody listening right now, that we were against the Trump administration and we were loud uh, about it. Uh, uh, when uh, they said they were going to deal with the the Taliban, I saw Pompeo uh, on the air a couple of times over the weekend saying, "Well, wait a minute, we we wouldn't have we wouldn't have gone this far be- when they started breaking the deal, right?" And, and right. again, they may not have, but we knew you couldn't trust the Taliban, right? We knew once the United States got out of it, the Taliban would have done it. If it would have been the Trump administration, and they would have completely evacuated out of there, maybe the Taliban would have waited a month. But the Taliban right. was coming. The Taliban was coming back full force. You couldn't trust them, and so you'll never know. 